Myoblate. Uterine fibroid radiofrequency ablation offers a non-invasive outpatient fibroid treatment, preserving uterine function. This innovative procedure specifically targets intramural and submucosal lesions, which account for a majority of uterine fibroids. Using ultrasound guidance, physicians accurately determine fibroid location and size while carefully selecting the appropriate treatment method. A radiofrequency ablation system differentiates itself with its compact and simple design while providing a variety of treatment modes. It is the only multimodal therapy for uterine fibroids, making the procedure easier, faster, and safer. Myoblade. Electrodes are available in a variety of lengths and active tip sizes. With two different distinct models to choose from, Physicians have the flexibility and freedom to select the one that best suits their needs. Physicians select the appropriate electrode, connect it to the generator port, and ensure proper connection to the infusion pack for cooling saline circulation. There are two grounding pads, one for each thigh. Internally cooled electrodes prevent tissue carbonization while achieving a water ablation zone. They also have echogenic markings for easier ultrasound needle placement. Prior to the procedure, sedation or general anesthesia is administered based on the individual's needs and preferences. there are two targeting options available. In the first method, the needle guide is connected to the ultrasound probe, enabling smooth insertion of the electrode. After locating the fibroid with an ultrasound, pass the electrode through the guide, insert the electrode into the fibroid, and simply begin the ablation. The V-Guide holds the electrode parallel to the ultrasound probe, ensuring precise targeting of fibroids without deviating from the ultrasound image field of view. Another method involves inserting the electrode with the help of a coaxial biopsy needle. After safely inserting the RF electrode into the fibroid, radiofrequency energy is transmitted generating heat in the surrounding tissue and causing necrosis of the fibroid, ultimately leading to its destruction. Ultrasound used throughout the entire procedure ensures sufficient treatment and safety. Results vary. Some patients may have mild post-procedure pain, managed with over-the-counter painkillers. Myoma growth stops. Pain symptoms improve within one to two months. Fibroid size reduces by more than 70% at 12 months.